everyone, welcome to this update this evening. I hope you have been enjoying your Saturday. It is the weekend, and you know, eventually we have to get ready for the new week. But how about the tropics? What's going on? Well, by the title, the thumbnail, you would have seen or I pointed out that we could see development soon. So I will be expounding on that later in the video. But for now, as we look at the infrared satellite imagery, we can see that it is quite active in parts of northern South America, Venezuela, Colombia, uh, the northern Guyanas as well, and also the Caribbean. But not as much uh, thunderstorms and convection as what we saw last night when I made that update video. But across some areas, there's been some afternoon showers and thunderstorms, even some heavy rain as well. So as we zoom into the region here, we can see that there is still some activity moving through. So there's still that trough in the area helping to enhance the showers, especially in the Eastern Caribbean. So areas such as the ABC Islands, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and parts of the Lesser Antilles, especially the Leeward Islands, have experienced some heavy rain and even those uh, thunderstorms. And uh, this evening, some thunderstorms have developed across parts of Hispaniola. So Haiti and the Dominican Republic, some spots in Cuba, Jamaica, as well, especially Northern parishes, there was uh, there were some heavy downpours and thunderstorms as well. Not much happening for uh, the uh, Cayman Islands, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, and parts of Central America as we head to parts of uh, Western Nicaragua. And then within the vicinity of Costa Rica, Panama, there is some activity. Same thing for sections of Northern South America. Now, looking at the rainfall forecast, as we're going to be heading through today and into tomorrow morning, we can see that it gets pretty colorful across sections of the Caribbean. So there could be some additional showers this evening into tonight across some areas and spots in Cuba, maybe even near the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and parts of the Lesser Antilles, ABC Islands. There is some activity in the area. And as we know, Northern South America remains active, Colombia through the Guyanas. And then going toward the Pacific coast of some of these Central American territories, it also gets a little bit colorful signifying that hey there could be some showers around for the uh, throughout the rest of today and into early tomorrow now let's talk hurricane season where could we potentially see development well i'm not exactly referring to the atlantic basin but rather the eastern pacific hurricane season so the pacific hurricane season runs from may 15th through november 30th and looking at the latest global tropics hazards outlook map here this is to show uh the areas where we could potentially see some sort of tropical development over the course of the next uh few weeks and then as we look to may 8th to may 14th there we can see north and south america the caribbean nothing expected however for the week of may 15th to the 21st that is uh, within the week when the pacific hurricane season commences take a look at that offshore central america in the pacific we're seeing where there could be development and models are in fact hinting at this for example the gfs model this is the forecast for sunday the 19th of may there we can see that area of low pressure, that 1,006 millibar low. So those green, yellowish, uh, reddish shadings you're seeing, those are uh, signifying the rainfall amount, so the average uh, precipitation rate. And then as we head to Monday the 20th, we see this low pressure system strengthening. So when we see that value decreasing, so the lower it gets into the 990s, 980s, that is signifying strengthening. So... Uh, the pressure we're, uh, the minimum pressure we're seeing is inversely proportional to the intensity of the system. And uh, that generally means that when one value is decreasing, another is increasing. So the lower the minimum central pressure is, the stronger the winds or the intensity overall of that particular storm. And the Canadian model is also hinting at this, so it doesn't go as far out compared to GFS, but through the 14th of May, there we can see that increase in all of that rain well offshore Central America. So we're definitely seeing the signs ahead and ocean surface temperatures are well on their way. Look at this, 30, 31 degrees Celsius. Once other environmental conditions are conducive, we could definitely see cyclogenesis happen. Now, what about the names? What names would be used for the Pacific? Well, these are the names for 2024. We've got Aleta, Bud, Carlotta. Those are the first three names on the list. So should we see development not next week, but the following week? The first name on the list is Aleta. Now, that is for the Pacific hurricane season. In the Atlantic, though, uh, not really seen any signs of anything for the short term, but the first name on the list is Alberto. So Alberto, Beryl, Chris, Debbie, Ernesto, etc. These are the names for this hurricane season again the atlantic hurricane season is expected to be very active and we could see 
above well above average activity this year actually but i'm here to keep you guys posted as per usual and that is basically it for this update's video so again there is still some rain around in parts of the caribbean today and we could certainly see something try to get itself together in the eastern pacific that could form within the next two weeks or so but i'll keep you guys posted i hope you found this very short video to be quite informative but if you have any questions do feel free to leave them in the comments i will respond to you when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise